Hi, my name is Mani Alikani. I am Dean and Professor at CITOR Academy, and I'd like to welcome you to another session of CITOR channel. The topic of today's discussion is application of rectangular wire in 2x4 setup. If you remember from last time, we talked about application of the round wire in 2x4 setup. In that system, we can produce a couple on the molar, and we said that in the front production of the couple is not possible. In that dimension, the sagittal dimension that you are seeing in the picture, uh, the system acts close to the one couple system. The system is not one couple system, but behavior is very similar to one couple system. Therefore, we can analyze it somehow as a one couple system. In that system, we had a moment on the molar and two force that appears in the system. The only variable in this system was a location of the V band. What happened if we have a rectangular wire? In rectangular wire, three variables appear in the system. One is the position of the V band. Two is the differential width between the bracket in sagittal view and molar and the incisors. That can affect your system significantly. And the third is the angulation of the bracket. The interaction between these three variables change your system significantly. To understand the complexity of the situation, let's start with the position of the V band. Let's compare one couple system with two couple system. At this moment, we are assuming the angulation and weight of the bracket is not a variable. So to make the system simple, easy to compare, in one couple system we have a bracket and we have a button. The round wire goes in the bracket and comes in the front and acts as a one contact point. And the second one is a two couple system where the weight of the bracket is exactly the same and the angulation of the bracket is exactly the same and the height of the bracket is exactly the same. What happens if you are putting a central V-band in these two systems? In the one-couple system, you will have an extrusion and intrusion forces appears, and in the place that we have two contact points, that is the bracket, a moment appears in the system. What about two-couple system? In the two-couple system, as you can see, if the V-band is placed in the center, the amount of the moment that appears in both brackets is equal. However, there will be no force in the system. What happens if we move the V-band closer to one bracket in one couple system? So if you had a 2x4 setup, we move the V-band closer to the molar. Yes, the magnitude of the forces increases. However, only the molar is still received the couple. How about if we have two brackets equal in width, equal angulation, equal in height, and we move close to one bracket. You are right. The magnitude of the moment in one decrease and in one that we are getting closer increases and in response to this differential moment, vertical forces appear in the system. Which one of these two systems can produce higher vertical forces? Yes, the one couple system, not the two couple system. What happens if we reach to the one third of the length? In that case, the one couple system is still producing higher magnitude of the force because you are getting closer to the molar, the magnitude of the couple is larger. And in two couple system, the system behave like a one couple system. Why? Because when you bring in the wire to engage in the second bracket, at that time is almost goes with the zero angulation. Therefore, for a period of time acts as a one couple system. Just remember for a short period of time. After that, it will not behave like a one couple system. And we will discuss in more details in future. In that case, the force system in the both one couple and two couple system is equal. What happens if we get closer even to one of the tooth? In this case, two by four set of round wire, assume you are getting closer to the molar, you will see the magnitude of the forces increase significantly. And if you had a rectangular wire and only variable was the position of the V-band, the magnitude of the forces given even much larger because the moment that appear in the system will become same direction. Therefore, 
you need high magnitude of the forces to compensate for these two moments that are now in the same direction. The forces would be more than the forces that appear in one coupled system. So as you can see, if the in the 2 by 4 setup only variable was position of the V-band, changing the position of the V-band would change the magnitude of the moment, would change the magnitude of the forces that appear, even change the direction of the moment that appear in your system. However, this is not the only variable when you are setting up a 2 by 4 setup. The second variable is the width of the bracket. In the sagittal view, if you look at the brackets of the molar and the incisor, you see that in incisors, the width of the bracket is much smaller than the molar. Now, if your rectangular wire is engaged inside these two brackets, do you think it produces a similar couple? Yes, you are right. It does not. The couple on the incisors would be much less than the couple that appear in the molar. Why? Because the width of the bracket is smaller. Now, let's combine two variables together. In this system, what happens if we put a central V-band? Based on what we talk about the position of the V-band, we would expect that, well, the two sides should have received similar moment. Do you think it's going to happen? No. Why? Because the anterior bracket cannot produce as much as couple as the posterior bracket. Therefore, forces appear in your system to compensate for differential moments that appear between the incisors and the posterior. How can I change the position of the V-band in this system to produce equal moments? Should I get closer to the molar or should I get closer to the incisor? You are right again. By getting closer to the incisor, your magnitude of the moment in the incisor increases, the magnitude of the moment in the molar decreases, and during this process of getting closer, you will find the point where the magnitude of the moment on the incisors and molars are closer to each other and almost they cancel each other and therefore there would be no vertical forces in your system. In next session, we will discuss this one in more details and also we include the third variable that is the angulation of the brackets. Thank you for listening to another session of CTOR channel and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have not subscribed to our channel so far, please go ahead and subscribe. And please don't forget to press the like button. Thank you again.